Kestrel, the world's most powerful Salzer diesel locomotive. This is by no means a new model, so in this video we're going to take a look at the history of the locomotive and have a listen to what she may have sounded like. It's strange in this connected world that it's proven impossible to find any sound recordings of the real thing. However, having researched the engine type and characteristics, I'm going to offer you two variations and leave it to you to decide which sounds the most accurate. Kestrel was designed and built by Hawker Siddeley at Brush of Loughborough. The year was 1967 and hopes were high that international markets as well as British railways would be interested in this powerful sleek looking locomotive. She came to traffic on January the 29th, 1968. Had just one power plant, unlike Deltix and Westerns, yet produced an astonishing 4,000 horsepower, hence the number HS4000, a combination of Hawker Siddeley and her horsepower. Her engine was a Salzer V16L VA24. She was a diesel electric Coco, meaning the engine drove an alternator that provided electricity to her six traction motors, one per axle. The R undertook trials and she proved very successful. However, she weighed in at 133 tonnes spread over the six axles and BR had specified a maximum of 21 tonnes per axle for safety and to allow fast running. Kestrel was therefore fitted with modified class 47 type bogies, but this still meant 22.5 tonnes per axle. This is how the model is presented. Kestrel was fitted with some very modern electronic control systems. She had dynamic braking, whereby the motors would be turned into generators, causing a braking effect. This was for use at higher speeds, and sensors were fitted to decide between dynamic or conventional friction brakes, or a combination. She also had solid state electronics to monitor voltages. The Loco was even equipped with external sockets to allow plug-in diagnostics of faults, just like a modern car these days.
let's take a look at her alongside a brush type 4 or class 47. They predated Kestrel by some six years. It's easy to see the similarities. And now a modern day class 60, also built by brush. Again, the common pedigree is most apparent. Kestrel was tested on coal trains, her 4,000 horsepower coping easily with the loads. I have now switched to sound option two. What do you think? On August the 7th, 1968, Kestrel worked a test run between Mansfield concentration sidings and Clipstone and Lincoln with a train of 52 loaded merry-go-round wagons. It weighed in at 2,028 tonnes. Despite the severe grades on the route, she handled the train well. Kestrel easily attained a 110 miles per hour top speed and boasted in excess of 70,000 pounds of tractive effort. By the end of 1968, Kestrel had amassed 26,000 miles under test. She was tested on Daltic diagrams and easily outperformed them. It seems extraordinarily short-sighted, but BR did not take test run, and this powerful technologically advanced locomotive never went into full service or production. On July the 8th, 1971, the locomotive was purchased by Russia for £127,000. The original asking price was £205,820. Her career in Russia is not well recorded, However, it seems she was used for a while, then reverse engineered to find out her secrets. The empty body was ballasted with concrete and used as a test bed for a time, and was finally cut up in 1993. A very sad end to a beautiful locomotive. However, it seems very likely that the Russian TEP-70 locomotives, also of 4,000 horsepower and using a V diesel engine, are direct descendants of Kestrel, so perhaps she lives on in that way.